What's up, buzzers? Your boy JT Automation back in with another video. I'm here again with Mr. Antoine West. If you missed the first video we did together, you missed the treat. Be sure to go check that out. I'll make sure it's linked down in the description below. And this video will be a part of a playlist. So for your convenience, you can just keep watching, soak up all of the game. Now, something that you may or may not know about me is I'm a Marine Corps veteran, served honorably four years from 2008 to 2012. Mr. West here is also a veteran. What years did you serve? So I served from 2005 to 2012, active duty Navy and Army National Guard. All right, so he served in two branches, right? The Army and the Navy. I served in the Marines. So both of us are vets. We both know vets. And in this video, we're going to talk about a great business for any disabled veterans out there to start. Of course, you don't have to be a disabled vet in order to start this business, but if you are, you can still have a great life for yourself, financially speaking, even if you have some complications from your service. All of that and more right after the intro. All right, bro, so we're back. Now, do you mind sharing with us what can disabled veterans do? Like, what business are you in? What I mean by that is that a lot of people, you might serve during combat time in a combat zone. Even if you didn't serve during a time of combat, still a lot of changes happen to service men and service women, whether it's, it's PTSD, any kind of psychological issues, any kind of physical ailments. So coming back to the civilian world, it might be a little bit different, right? People might call you weird or whatever, but honestly, the military changes everybody now you're a little bit different but that doesn't mean that you don't deserve to live a good life financially speaking so what have you found to be a good option for disabled veterans hold on wait are you on social media because you're looking for a way to make more money in a consistent way so that you can better your personal economy or create or scale your generational wealth well guess what you're on the right channel i want to invite you out to my Foundational Wealth Conference. There, I'm gonna give you the proven strategy to make money in business, to make money in stock investing, and to make money in real estate investing. I'm bringing all of my friends together that make six and seven figures a year doing this, and I wanna teach you how to do the same. Link is in the description down below if you wanna take advantage of that. So freight dispatching. I have a lot of disabled veterans that join my program. And the good thing about, as you mentioned, JT, a lot of our veterans have PTSD mm -hmm. and being around crowds, being in the work environment isn't too healthy for, you know, for themselves. So as a freight dispatcher, you can work from home, you can work from anywhere and you can do this all by yourself. So a lot of the disabled veterans, they love just being able to work from home and still being able to call truck drivers and brokers and interact with people, but not have to be like in a loud environment or a big crowd or just around different people. So I think I, I really like freight dispatching for disabled veterans since it allows you to work from home and pretty much make up your own schedule. Absolutely, right? So for somebody out there that is a veteran, but they have never heard of freight dispatching, in the simplest way you can, I got South Carolina education, <laughs> cheat them away through high school and college, right? It don't matter now, it's over, <laughs> right? So what in simplest terms is freight dispatching? Okay, well, I, I don't have too much more myself, so I'm gonna try <laughs> to put this together, but in simplest words, freight dispatching, you're finding loads for owner operators, you're finding loads for truck drivers. So you're gonna call and you're gonna book these loads with the broker, you, you're gonna negotiate the rates, all rates are negotiable, but you're gonna get all the information for the load and then you're going to send that over to your owner operator or your truck driver that you're dispatching for and you make a percentage off each load mm -hmm. yeah all right i know a lot of people that watch this content you might be a truck driver so for your convenience and with Mr. West's permission, they'll be linked down in the description below for you to take advantage of if you want to work with more dispatchers as well. Because I do know there are some veterans out there that are truck drivers. But in keeping with the dispatching business, we already touched on the fact that if you suffer with dealing with crowds, this is something that you could do from the comfort of your home or anywhere that you're comfortable doing it. How complicated is it? Because I do know, not a shot at anybody watching this video, but I do know some people's military disability may have now make it hard for them to focus 
on complex tasks just because of whatever they dealt with. So how complicated is being a dispatcher in your opinion? So I don't believe it's a very complicated field. It might be a learning gap that you have to get, you know, information and knowledge on of how to do this business. But like JT said, I got all my links below mm -hmm. if you guys want to reach out to me. But you just need to learn the process of freight dispatching. Other than that, once you learn that process, it's not a very complicated job. I have several students that I've trained in the past and currently that are disabled veterans that do have PTSD. And some of the feedback that I get from them is they like freight dispatching because they can just start with one truck, you know, not overcomplicate things and then just add more trucks on gradually. So that's the one thing some of our disabled veterans, you know, love about freight dispatching. All right. And I know this might be a crazy question for you, but for the benefit of somebody that honestly doesn't know, how labor intensive is freight dispatching for somebody that doesn't know? Okay, so I say it all depends on the amount or the number of trucks you have. Mm -hmm. If you have one truck, that's gonna be a big difference from having five trucks. So, and the more trucks you add, it's gonna become more labor intensive yeah. over time. I'm talking about manual labor. Ma manual, as a yeah. freight dispatcher. Okay, yeah, I got yeah, you, I got yeah, you. I got that okay. my fault. Yeah, yeah so, so we, yeah. It's, it's straight admin. You know, it's administrative work. That's what I like about it. That's what some veterans that train with me like so it's not any physical work at all you're going to be working from your computer from your cell phone and just doing admin work for the most part all right compared to the responsibilities and the level of work that you had when you were in the navy or in the army compared to what you do now like do which like can you compare those two which one was harder like would you say if you could serve and make it through basic training and x amount of years in the service you'll probably be pretty successful dispatch oh definitely definitely yeah. good question um, one thing i really feel like what helped me out is becoming a freight dispatcher is my service in the military to straight dis freight dispatching it can be a stressful job but you will most likely you'll get used to that over time. Most of the time people let this stress them out is because they're coming from a career field with less stress and you're basically going to strengthen yourself up. So I don't want you guys to think it's hard or anything like that. But even for myself, it was hard at the in the beginning for maybe the first two or three weeks. But after I learned the process, it's like you're doing you're doing the same thing. So it's not very labor intensive when it comes to freight dispatching. So so all of the veterans out there whether you're disabled or not, you can do this, but specifically for the disabled veterans out there, I do want you all to leave this video with actionable steps. So the actionable steps that I challenge you all to do is to one, ask yourself if you're not already successfully making six figures or more working completely for yourself, why not? Right? It's not because you can't do it. Maybe you just don't have the right information or access to the necessary resources. Now, in our previous video, we talked about how you could start this business with as little as $150. And he also touched on the fact that you can make six figures in your first year, just like he did. So I always share this and I want to be intentionally repetitive in this video as well, is that by the grace of God, I wish you all longevity and prosperity and all of your endeavors to include your business. But this time next year, you could be that same man or woman watching YouTube videos saying, I wish I had more money for this. I wish I could spend more time with my loved ones. I wish I could take that trip or live this kind of lifestyle, but I just don't have the money, right? Now, God works through people. There's a reason you clicked on this video and saw this opportunity. Let Mr. Antoine West be the person that helps you out there figure out if this is something that's for you and walk you through the process of knowing nothing about dispatching all the way into creating your own successful dispatching business in the transportation industry. Do you mind sharing with the people a little bit like high level view of what they'll learn in your mentorship program? So high level view of what you will learn, you will learn all the basic information to become a freight dispatcher. You'll learn how to find loads, how to find owner operators, how to negotiate rates. You'll learn where the best paying rates are. So that's the basic information that you will learn. But what I like about my program, I teach you the important things like marketing, sales, building a sales funnel. So those are the aspects that I think many freight dispatchers are missing because being a freight dispatcher is just doing a job, but you want to build a sustainable freight dispatching business. In my program, do I not only teach you how to be a freight dispatcher, but I teach you how to actually own a freight dispatching business. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. So there you have it, you guys. All the necessary links are down in the description below. Take advantage of this. Also, for those of you that watched this video this long and still haven't watched the first video, he already broke down how one truck can make you $800 a week. You can scale up as a one-man operation all the way up to making $6,400 in a single week. You don't have to do it all by yourself, but you can do it by yourself if you're an introvert, which I know a lot of you all are. If you want more details on that, Go watch the last video. It's linked in the description as along with all those other resources. And until next time, to all my hustlers stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.